How doing math exam papers is actually not the right thing to do. So what is the right thing? I would recommend to actually go through your child's or the student's past exam papers and test papers to see what questions they got commonly wrong. So for example, I have a student who is actually pretty good, but her weakest topic is actually patterns. So now we know that she is weaker at the patterns question. The next thing is to not give all the exam papers that have all the pattern questions, but to give very simple pattern questions to see if the student even understand the concept of patterns. So for example, if the students understand the simple concept of patterns, then you can move on to a little bit more higher difficulty for the pattern concept. Otherwise, then that's where you have to slowly explain and make sure that the student understands what the pattern concept is. And from there, you can slowly work your way from easy questions, shorter questions, to then medium difficulty, and then you can go to the hard difficulty kind of questions. It's like if the student don't know how to run, it's not they don't know how to run, they just don't know how to walk. If they know how to walk, they know how to jog, and then that's why you know how to run. As you know, I love to run.